heartbreaking images of a child crying have emerged from a children's school in China, a country where in the past, young children have been placed in schools designed to train future Olympic champions. It's one of many pictures captured in sporting schools across China of young children being put through grueling training routines at ages as young as six. However, things are changing in the country as demographics shift as the country grows more prosperous and a larger focus is placed on different forms of education. China's sports system has been enormously successful since the country returned to the Olympic fold in 1980, culminating with the host nation dropping the medals table at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Fewer parents are willing to let their children endure grueling training routines, leading to a fall in student numbers. Some schools have closed and others are adjusting the way they work. The number of sports schools is down from 3,687 in 1990. At Shanghai's number one children's sports school Pudong New Area where the change is unfolding, the school's party committee secretary, Huang Kin, said, in the 1980s and 1990s, schools like ours were extremely attractive. But, parents are less willing now to send their child to sports schools. Debates about the continued relevance of the sports school system began to emerge around the 2008 Beijing Olympics, Huang and other schools said, as emerging tales of difficulties facing retired athletes jarred against rising expectations of education standards among China's booming middle class. At the number one children's sports school Pudong New Area, Huang said it had improved its teacher training. Three years ago, it also relaxed a 40-year tradition of requiring its entire student cohort to study, train and live full-time on campus. Now, more than half of the school's 700 athletes study at other schools. Of its remaining 300 or so full-time students, about 10% live off campus. Other schools like the Shanghai Yangpu Youth Amateur Athletic School, are going into kindergartens to advertise gymnastics as an after-school playtime activity to parents. We call it happy gymnastics, said Principal Zhu Zhengxiang. At Beijing's Shichia High, adorned with posters extolling the feats of ex-students turned Olympic champions, Vice Head Zhang Jing said the school offered comprehensive development and equipped athletes with the skills needed for life after sport. The Shanghai Sports School, whose alumni include former Olympic swimming champion Liu Zige, began in 2012 to reject athletes that did not pass its academic entrance exams, and tells parents it wants to use sports training to educate rather than as an end goal, according to Principal Sheng Ma. A lot of sports schools are moving in this direction. But this is a painful process, he said. At present the existing thought is that education and training are two different routes, if you want to be a world champion you cannot study. This belief is wrong. And at the end of the day very few become champions.